Uh, Sidira, she got no changes. Cool. Yeah. Uh, next up is Orchid, and this is the reason why we're here. This one's going to... Did you give control to Chase? Did I? You have not. Oh, All my right. God. I'm garbage. <laughs> Garbos. Yeah. Garbos. That's too funny. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Control now. Yeah. Oh, yeah so uh, her air throw. So let's back up a little. Gargos. Gargos can throw you out of the air. Yeah. And continue the combo. Yes. So we made it breakable like it's a hit. Yes. You break it on heavies because it's uh -huh. heavy. Orchid can grab you out of the air yeah. and continue the combo. Right. So Something about that, that felt wrong. So we made that yeah. breakable as a hit. Okay. Uh, we don't have air throw techs. So mm -hmm. uh, air throw is lights. So you're going to break it on lights. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little juggle into it. And he can break it. Ooh. So can you counter break? Of course. Okay. Well, I was a little slow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's cool. You want to explain this a little bit? You kind of already did. Yeah, I yeah. mean, that, that's why we did it. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we already made some edits to Orchid when Season 3 started. They gave her right. these new air target combos. Yep. Where she can do, you know, like that. So she can lead off with a medium instead of a light and still pick up the juggle because the light is going to be the, the grab. Yeah. Um, so you, you do have juggle options to mix it up so that you're not always doing the same thing, mm -hmm. which is kind of fortuitous since we ended up making this change. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. But we, what we did notice was even though we gave her those new juggle options, people were still just doing right. the air grab over and over because it was unbreakable. Yep. Now it's breakable. Um, other air grabs that do not lead to more combo, like Maya's, those are not breakable. Okay. It's just the ones that lead into that something. lead to more stuff that right. we're considering making breakable. That, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so next up, what we have Spinal. Uh, he has no changes. Cool. Uh, full Gore. Okay. Also no changes. Great. Uh, next up is TJ Combo. TJ Combo. Uh, what did you do to TJ Keats? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my heart breaks every time. This is a good change. This is actually not This change something, is super sick. Yeah, this is actually really good. Uh, so Advantage Ender now has a much quicker startup, right? Like And recovery. Yeah, and recovery. Way faster. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you can kind of surprise people a little yeah, bit better. Yeah, that was it. He just did it. Yeah, yeah. Look how fast it is. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like it. The old one was just like, it was too chunky. Uh-huh. For the amount of damage it did, it didn't sell right. Right. And it gave the opponent too much time to think to about what's yes, next. Yes, right. And this speeds that up significantly. Yeah. I think you'll actually start to see TJs use this on purpose more often because of the speed up. Mm -hmm. uh, I have started doing it more often when I play TJ, and I am I am getting stuff. Yeah, no, it, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah I, I like this change a lot. Yeah. So that's 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 what we did there. Yeah. So uh, Maya, that's actually that's it for TJ. Okay. It's the only change. Uh, next up is Maya. She got no changes. Okay. Conra got no changes. Okay. Ripter, no changes. Okay. Omen, no changes. Okay. Uh, we got Agonos. Heard of him? Yeah. Do uh, you want me to just read yeah, these? Yeah, just out? go ahead. Okay. The, uh, the only other ones we're going to show are Shago and Kim. Okay. Uh, spoilers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so with Agonos, we fixed an issue that caused damage to Agonos' walls if he performed a ground bounce or recapture on his opponent. Yeah, uh, that was a bad one. Yeah. We're really sorry about that, Agonos players. Yep. Uh, that's fixed. So we also fixed a bug causing an inconsistency in the recovery time of Ruin after hitting an armored character. Yeah, I noticed this one um, a lot, too. Yeah, it was weird. It was pretty weird. It was hard to fix, too. Yep. Uh, so that's fixed. Uh, and that's it for Agonos. Uh, Hisako, she has no changes. Cinder has no changes. For Arya, we fixed a bug causing her level 1 explosive arc ender to whiff Mira at very close range. Yeah, so that's oddly fixed. enough, it may not look like it, but Mira is the skinniest character in the game hitbox-wise. Mm. Okay. And there's just a couple things here and there that we're going to be patching over the next few times that just whiffed her inexplicably. Yeah. Uh, okay. Not intended, but yeah. she just ended up being pretty tiny. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, we got Shadow Jago. Oh. So you want to start off with Shadow Jago? Can you move? Did it give uh, you player control back? Nope. No, I have to do that every time? Yep. This game. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right. So fix very uh, well. We made various changes to his jumping heavy punch. This move is yeah. much lamented. I'm <laughs> not a fan of this move. Yeah. So we buffed it. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Yeah, it makes it, sense. It's a burf. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we fixed a bug that was causing jump HP to hit only two times instead of the intended three. Go he ahead, flips Chase. three times, right? So jump hard punch me. Yep. A little higher. Yep. Yeah, it might be, might not work on Kim because yep. she's, she's, she's so she, short. Yeah. I'll jump up there with you. There we go. There oh, go. no, still missed it. Yeah, whatever. It yeah, three times. Believe now. us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we reduced the attack box size on Jumping Heavy Punch so that they reach above him less and cover less space overall. Could show that. Okay. Yeah. 
turn hit boxes on. Where are they? Display uh, stuff. Uh, I think it was the other one. Yep. Help and options. Display. Display hit boxes. Boom. Yay, there we go. Okay. So those are smaller than they used to be, yeah. and you'll notice his vulnerable box is much larger than uh -huh. it used to be. This will mu be much easier to anti-air now. Yep. So that was the next point, actually. Yeah. Uh, so we also reduced the block stun inflicted by jumping heavy punch by 12 frames, leaving Shadow Jago roughly even with his opponent on landing when this move is blocked. Go ahead. You're not going to use this for a massive frame advantage anymore. If you want frame advantage to go into dashy stuff, mm -hmm. you're going to want to use a different button. Yeah. Just cross me up with it. It'll be easier for me to block. There we go. Yep. Yep. Makes so, sense. Yeah. If you want massive lingering coverage that spins around <laughs> at the top of the screen, uh, you're going to sacrifice the frame advantage now. Uh, this move is much makes much more sense risk versus reward wise. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so look forward to that change if you are a Shadow Jago hater. <laughs> <laughs> the stream chat really, really seems to be appreciating these changes. Good. Yeah. Cool. That's why we do it. It's almost like you know what you're doing sometimes. Let's nerf Kim Woo. <laughs> 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 All right. So, uh, yeah. Kim Woo. Uh, so people are always asking for buffs. They are. <laughs> they are. I want to uh, talk about that for a minute. I'm just going to soapbox. Yeah, yeah. You want to rant about this? Yeah, I mean, it's not okay. just with Kim Woo, but yeah. a lot of people, when they ask for buffs, they are asking to correct a character weakness as mm -hmm. if that weakness is an accident. Right. It's not. The characters have weaknesses by design. Mm -hmm. Fixing the weaknesses doesn't, you know, make the game better. Yeah. Uh, and, of course, yeah, to make your character better. Mm -hmm. But that's that's not how we design and balance the game. Right. right characters right. are supposed to have bad matchups and critical weaknesses. Mm -hmm. and, uh, as it grows, you know, you're just you're going to see more and more of that. A character comes in with absurd strengths, but then some critical weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Or a character comes in and feels pretty balanced. No absurd strengths, no absurd weaknesses, right? Yeah. But it's always like that. There's, it's, it's a give and take. So we're not going to come in here and take away all the weaknesses. We're just not going to do it ever yeah. for any character. Right. It's just not going to happen. Yeah. But we'll do some stuff. Yeah. If we if we feel a character is too strong or too weak, yeah. as we always do, we'll tone down the strengths or tone up what the strengths are supposed to be right. that aren't quite where they should be. Yeah. And that's what we're doing with Kim right now. Makes sense to me. We feel like, uh, you know, she's a really strong footsie character. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, you know, maybe some other characters footsie a little better than her. And those okay. matchups are tough because that's what she's supposed to be doing. Right. Uh, let's just get into it. What do we yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. So, uh... We're going to talk about her uh, deflecting uh, projectiles, projectiles with... Toss me with, a blueberry. With firecracker. Yeah, firecracker. Man, I can't okay. speak So we all, we all know about this. Yeah, yeah. Shoot it makes back. sense. That's the light yep. version. So okay. what happens when you do the medium version? I'm going to do the medium version. Yeah. Oh, that's now. cool. Goes wow. in a different uh, uh, throw angle. Throw me another one. Yeah. I'm going to do the heavy version. Oh, that's, that's a higher that's, angle. All Go right. ahead. I, I'm going to do the shadow version just for fun. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. not really practical. Yeah. So the problem with this move for us was that... While it's cool to reflect projectiles and all, from the distances people are doing it, the opponent just jumps over. Jumps, yeah. Now, oh. you have to think twice about that. Yep. And that forces players who are trying to zone Kim to play a more honest footsie game with mm -hmm. her. Uh, we like it. We think it's a cool change. Yeah, no, I think it makes sense. Um, yeah, no, I, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, it didn't make sense, you know, for people to just always do the same option to get get out of that situation. Yeah, you just throw right? a fireball and jump, and yeah. it's like whatever. What's yep. she gonna do? Yeah. So next thing that we changed is her walk speed. It's actually fifteen percent faster now. It is. Yeah. You can probably tell if you're a hardcore Kim player. Yeah. But, I mean, this is pretty comparable. That's pretty. Uh, to Shago here. It's pretty good. Yep. Hold on, Chase. Let's go, go backwards. Backwards a little more. Stop. Let me go. F come forward a tiny, tiny bit. I'm gonna center up the line. Okay. On the count of three, we'll hold forward. One. Two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much the same force speed as Shago. Comparable. Very helpful yep. uh, when you're playing footsies. So you can dip in and dip out and clock people in the face with this. Yep. Very nice. Watch out. So now her forward dash uh, is 17 frames. Used to be 22, used to be 20. which wow. doesn't really make sense for a character like this. Yeah. So we sped it up quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, so you'll be able to sneak in and grab a little more often or you know, sneak in, hit a light kick, and then maybe grab somebody or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice change. Yeah. Crowd mobility is stronger because, again, like like I said, we're not patching weaknesses out. Mm -hmm. We're enhancing her strengths to get right. her in line with where, you know, we think we want her to be. Yep, makes sense. Next move is her dragon counter. So this is her parry. Uh, you know, it results as an explosion when it hits the opponent. Right. So it now causes a hard knockdown versus airborne opponents. All right, do a jumping hard kick on me. 
he can't quick rise. Ah. So I get more advantage there. I could actually set up a meaty. Yep. You're going to find some good stuff in the lab with this. Yeah. And, and also it, probably notice something else. Yeah, it deals 20 damage to the opponent. It actually hurts the opponent if they get hit by the explosion. Now. Yeah. So while you still can't combo off of it without instinct, getting damage can turn the tides of battle. Yeah. So you want to actually, can you get rid of some shadow meter? We can just tell them. Oh, okay. It, it, okay. Because it, it it's an actual hit. It gives you. It builds shadow meter for, for both, both players people. now. Yep, right? yep. Uh, whereas it did not before. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, you want to activate instinct? Yes. So previously, go ahead and hit me, Chase. Just keep hitting me. Yeah, do combos. Do combos. Yeah. Dragons would not build previously while she was being hit. Uh, but now they will. See, I got the third one yep. during the combo. So you'll you get a much more consistent number of dragons during each instinct use than you did before. Now, the reason we didn't let her get dragons during reactions before was because her instinct used to be very different. Mm -hmm. This dragon shield used to actually hit people, and it was super OP and dumb, <laughs> and it was the most horrible thing, so we cut it. Yeah. Um, so there's a little developer insight for you. But that the reason she didn't get those when she was being hit was because they were appearing and disrupting combos, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just a little piece of code that kind of got overlooked and got left in right. the, the ship version of her. And it doesn't make sense now with the way Dragon ended up working when we, when we shipped her. So we got rid of that restriction. Kim players can look forward to a much more uh, reliable number of dragons with each instinct use now, which is great. Yep. Uh, so we also fixed an issue that was causing her vulnerable boxes to change size when, you know, mash and yeah, standing she light punch. Yeah, really small for some reason. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Small uh, bug. Whatever. Yeah. Yep. So that, I think that's all for the bounce changes we're going to show. We're just going to read the rest of them real quick. Yeah, okay. yeah. So next <clears throat> up is Tusk. Uh, Tusk deflect. Now reset the combo state so that the follow-up hit can deal the same damage as the non-deflect version of the move, but does not add any potential damage to the opponent. Yeah, and we noted in the 3.1 yeah. notes yeah. for the patches that we were going to be doing this. Right. It's here. Yep. Uh, this makes Deflect feel a lot more fair. Mm -hmm. um, but it's still very strong. Yeah. Uh, and that's it for, for Tusk. Uh, next up is Arbiter. Oh, man. What did you do, Arby? All right. Let's oh. see. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we... we <laughs> yeah. So we moved the first active frame of Crouching Gunbutt back one frame. So this used to hit on, on 12. Now it hits on 13. This is the anti-air Gunbutt. Yep, this is anti-air. Yeah. Uh, added two additional frames of active time to the end of Crouching Gunbutt, making it active for one frame longer overall. So it is a burf. Yep, it's a burf. A little better anti-air if done early, but a little slower. Yep. Uh, we did this because uh, this move is a heavy, and it was being used as a medium manual. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so we didn't want that. Yeah. We, had to, we had to move it back. We had to make it a little slower. Yep. So you moved the manual cancel window on medium linker for Truth Seeker. We did. Uh, from frame 29 to 31 to prevent crouching gun butt Correct. from being used as a medium manual yep. because it's a heavy, right? So like, that, yep. yep. So that manual is a tiny bit different for mm -hmm. timing. Yep. Uh, we also moved the manual cancel window on medium Mercy's Demise, quarter circle back punch, mm -hmm. from frame 30 to frame 28. So that one's slightly earlier. Yep to ensure that the crouching medium punch was able to connect as a manual here. Yeah, so we apologize, but Arbiter players are going to have to practice their medium manuals a little bit. Yeah. Uh, so for Rash, we fixed an issue that was preventing players from canceling Battle Maniac beat-em-up combos into Ultra. Yes, yep. and apparently we only fixed half of that bug. Oh, and oops. the other half will get fixed next time. <laughs> <laughs> so you can do it, but there's still a small situation where you can't. Okay, I see. Womp womp. Yep, and then we got some uh, little tweaks to Mira. Yeah, uh, mostly bug fixes. Yep. All bug fixes. Yep. So we fixed the bug that was causing her level four reaping ender to fan a kick burnout. That's right. that was Even unfortunate. Was a punch. Yeah, that's a punch. It happens. How did that happen? Uh, uh, you know, negligent coding. <laughs> uh, so we fixed the bug that also caused some of her auto doubles to whiff against long distances uh, after quarter circle back heavy punch recaptures. Yeah. This is actually something I encountered very frequently. Yeah. Uh, and I'm glad that's fixed. Yeah. Yeah. That was annoying. Yeah. Uh, we fixed the bug that was causing the the post super flash portions of her shadow moves to auto correct unexpectedly. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Negligent coding. Yeah. Uh, fixed a bug that allowed her to land a heavy manual off of a medium reaping leaker. Yeah, yeah that's noops. Nope. That's gone. Uh, we also fixed a bug that was preventing Mira from canceling openers into auto do or into doubles, linkers, enders, or ultra if her opponent was hit by a projectile during the move. That one is the worst. Oh, yeah. If you're a Mira player, I'm sure you've encountered this oh, yeah. where you're like, why didn't my auto double come mm -hmm. out? Uh, it's because a projectile hit yep. during your opener and the game didn't like that, but we fixed it. 
Nice. Uh, we also fixed the bug, causing her crouching light kick to be minus five on block instead of minus three, like the chained crouching version light yeah, kicks Yeah, Maya are. had the same bug, so yeah. I guess mm -hmm. <laughs> it's <laughs> fortune that her sister had the same thing. Yeah. So. I right. fixed it up for you. So, yeah, that's all the balance changes. <coughs> cool. Uh, nothing super crazy or anything like that. As no, you saw with Mira, uh, the, it was all bug fixes. The Kim stuff's a bit of an adjustment. Yeah, yeah. Kim stuff is definitely an adjustment. I'm, I'm clicking the wrong button. <laughs> Get me out of here. Oh, 